Hello, thanks for downloading Vibe Data Stream, the data ingestion engine from Informatica. We've provided this quick start demo for your convenience and to get you up and running with the product quickly. This demo will walk through a quick setup of your Vibe Data Stream installation. It assumes you've installed all your needed components and are ready for this quick start. Once you're ready to go, start your server-side components, which include the administrator daemon and administrator console. Don't worry if it seems like it's taking a while. Initially, it can take as much as five minutes to start all administrator components on your machine. The components on the node side are optional at this point, so you can choose to start them now, or you can start them after you've created your topology and deployed it. Now, let's go to the administrator console and figure out how you define your topology. This is the administrator console screen. You can get information about the IP address and port number of the administrator console from your installer log. Once you log in, the first thing you'll do is create a new service for Vibe Data Stream. The Vibe Data Stream service has to be created only the first time you install the product. Beyond that, you'll be creating new data flows. To create a service, click on Actions, New, Vibe Data Stream, provide a name, a description if you desire, select License, select Node. Now both would be one in this case. And then click Finish. So once the service has been created, Go ahead and click on Vibe Data Stream to start defining the topology. Now, you already see that a topology has been predefined here, but in most cases, it will be a blank, empty canvas. For our example today, we'll create a new data flow so we can start from scratch. To create a new data flow, right click on All Data Flows, click on New Data Flow, and provide the information. You typically don't need to change anything other than the name, so the default values are good here. Once you've created a new data flow, go ahead and create new sources and targets as desired. For the example today, we'll use syslog as a source. To do that, just drag and drop syslog from the left-hand side pane. Provide the information. Click OK, and it creates a source. On the target side, we'll use HDFS for an example. So, drag and drop HDFS, and click OK. Once you've created a source and target, you click on the source and then drag and drop the line on the target. This will create the connection between the two which shows the data flowing from syslog into HDFS. Once you have a basic topology defined, you need to go ahead and add new nodes to the source and the target. To add nodes, click on the source, go to the node on the right-hand side pane, click on Add, pick one from the existing list, or add a new one and then click on Save. Similarly, you can go ahead and add one for HDFS, and then Save, and you're good to go. You can optionally decide to add transformations to this data flow as well, but we'll not get into that for right now. Once you have a basic topology defined, you can go back and click on Deploy which will basically push out the configuration to all the nodes if the nodes are already running. If not, it will be kept with the zookeeper. But once the data flow is deployed, you can basically start your nodes and the data will start flowing as soon as the nodes are up. You can monitor your deployment by going to the monitoring tab within the administrator console, clicking on the service, and then going to the data flow you want to monitor. In this case, it was data flow 1. Since the node has not been deployed in this case, 
both entities are showing as red since they're not up. But as soon as you deploy your data flow or your nodes, it will turn green and you'll show the state of data flow to be active. Now, you can go back and click on the entity itself and get more information about what amount of data is flowing from the source into the target by the bottom of the page. And this concludes the quick demo for Vibe Data Stream from Informatica. Thank you for listening and enjoy the product.